Whenever a new subclass rework drops each season, Bungie has sprinkled in a handful of perks and exotics for other subclasses to keep them somewhat relevant. For example, this season Titans received Second Chance, which grant a second throwing shield for Void Titan players. Last season, we had things like the Osmio Mancy Clubs for Stasis players, and so on. In this style of retroactive build buffing, one little perk has slipped in and has somehow evaded everyone's metaphorical radar, despite possibly being god tier for build crafting in both PvP and PvE. Let's say hypothetically you were looking to create a build with Void Invisibility, but you were on Warlock. Not too much of a problem, right? Because you have the Echo of Obscurity, which grants Void Invisibility on finishers, and even if you wanted to do this in PvP, Rat King's got you covered. It's no problem. Great! And let's say, hypothetically, you were looking to create a build with Devour, but you were on Titan. Again, not too much of a problem, right? Echo of Starvation grants Devour on Ore pickups, which works both in PvP and PvE. And now, of course, the last Void buff. Overshield. There are ways to get normal overshields, like Air Apparent, maybe Stasis Overshields from Shards, uh, a Warlock Healing Rift, but not a Void Overshield. Previously, the only way to get a true Void Overshield with all the delicious PvE damage resistance was from a Titan. Titans were the bourgeoisie of protection for the Void Proletariat, but no more. No more shall the centralization of class overshield capital be made unobtainable by the poor and downtrodden immigrants of the less privileged Void subclasses. No more shall we stand idly by while the wealth of protection of our well-being is confiscated by the corporate Titan capitalist. Today, we shall have a bloody revolution of freeing our comrades access to all void buffs today we shall abolish the reign of our titan oppressors and today we shall create a conquest of void power the abolition of private overshield and the eventual establishment of subclasses of a stateless void society that is to say we don't need titans to get void overshields anymore all of this is possible through the new repulsive brace perk i have used this weapon both in pvp and pve and i've got to tell you it's pretty nice but even above that, assuming this perk eventually rolls in the correct pair with the correct weapon, it could be absolutely devastating. By the way, the footage you're seeing in the background here is the Hero's Burden, a 900 adaptive frame SMG from reaching max rank in Iron Banner. It has a Zen Moment roll and obviously Repulsor Brace. But there are three other weapons that this can roll on. Hollow Denial, the new Leviathan Trace Rifle, Epicurean, a precision frame fusion rifle from the same source, and the Unforgiven, a 750 SMG from the Duality Dungeon, which is actually where I first noticed this perk. This was the first weapon that this rolled for me. Anyway, let's start with PvP. As you probably may have guessed, perks that require multiple steps to trigger can be difficult to work with in PvP. That's why Kill Clip still sits along the top while like one for all hardly gets touched. So already Repulsor Brace has its work cut out for it. First off, while you don't have to be on a Void subclass, it obviously makes sense to do so if you plan on triggering this thing more than just once every three games. Second, your target has to be affected by some form of Void debuff, but this is actually much easier than it may appear. Warlocks, Child of the Old Gods is your best friend, but even if you don't want to slot that, your melee works great as it sits in all of these weapons that I've mentioned, optimal range, and applies volatile to them, which is easily the longest lasting void debuff. An interesting side effect, as this was the primary class I experimented this perk with, is that if you accidentally kill your target with your void ability, rather than just trying to tag them for the kill with the repulsor brace, you will at least get devour to trigger from the feed the void aspect if you are running it. Hunters, weakening all day, every day. Just smack them with the smoke and hold the trigger with your void weapon with Repulsor Brace. This will perfectly synergize with the stylish execution for invisibility and overshield from the same kill. Titans, ironically, are probably still the best at acquiring this buff from this perk because of controlled demolition causing volatile on all void ability hits and all classes regardless if you're a void hunter a void warlock or a void titan suppression grenades echo of instability for volatile rounds and echo of undermining for weakening on all grenades all of which will cause some form of void debuff for your repulsor brace to work from in my experience as long as i was consciously trying to lead with the void ability i was damn surprised how often this perk triggered and even saved my life. 
Void Overshield grants plus 45 HP on top of whatever health you are currently at. This can be absolutely devastating as it guarantees that almost all non-special ammo weapons have to at least hit you one more time to kill. Or in other words, it's a bit like a reverse kill clip. Rather than granting bonus damage, it makes it harder for you to kill, requiring one more shot. It kind of evens out. All right, now all PvE people, thank you for your patience. Your call is very important to us. Let me summarize my opinions of this perk by showing you footage of me getting a sub three minute legendary loss sector. For most of you, that is likely something you can handle blindfolded. But for me, I do as well at PvE as most Destiny players do at getting matches on Tinder. So for me to tell you with a straight face, damn, it is at least worth investigating if you haven't already. I am sure there are better options out there, but to have a weapon that is basically a self-contained source of free passive survivability that can even be built into further is nothing to scoff at. A good way to look at this is like having Devour but with Void Overshields just baked into a weapon. You can continuously reproc your shield, making even a singe buffed enemy struggle to delete you. For both parties, PvE or PvP, this is a way to get that void overshield without having to spend your whole build trying to build around it. Or better still, you can just play further into it. If you want to just have a void overshield on, say, something like a Titan and then go offensive bulwark so that while you have a void overshield, you deal increased damage to stuff or regenerate stuff faster, there you go. You could play into it and just have a whole bunch of shields all at once. You can play into it so that you're kind of benefiting from getting the debuffs on things and then, you know, getting the kills on it. There's just so many ways that I think that this is being unexplored. And I, I think I know why. I think players look at this and go, hey, that's a little bit hard to do, which, yeah, I get it to a point. And it's not like a direct increase in damage. Typically, perks that don't increase damage directly tend to struggle. Think of things like Unrelenting, which, again, not the most fantastic of perks, but for certain situations, it's not bad. In certain weapons and certain combat encounters, it's not bad. This is, I think, just a stronger version of something like that, and it has more synergies baked into it. And again, there could be even more that comes out of this. Just imagine if we get something that comes back around for Void 3.0, which ends up, you know, giving us a few new aspects or fragments playing into this even further. Just keep an open mind with this. But again, even ignoring all of this, the biggest takeaway is what this opens up for buff stacking. Like, Devour and Void Overshield, Invisibility and Void Overshield, as well as what it could do with comboing with future weapons. Like, imagine if Bungie were to drop us this perk on a weapon that can add something like Golden Tricorn and Demolitionist or Swashbuckler, maybe Adaptive Munitions and others I'm sure comment section will remind me of. This perk could create a truly tanky and really powerful boy. I'm already in love with this in PvP, and I'm looking to hopefully really drive this perk's effectiveness home with a Void Overshield focused Titan in the future, because with Offensive Bulwark and Controlled Demolition, I can easily maintain this Void Overshield buff, even without needing to equip the Bastion Fragment for Void Overshields on Barricades. Least I could say, check it out. Bless your faces, and deuces. <laughs>